The Tigers came into this match with the lead in the north, while QRC came still looking to find their feet. No surprise then that the Tigers were quick out of the blocks and looking to make home advantage count. The boys in blue and blue, however, weren't backward themselves and should have taken the lead when Dwayne Mockett shot on the turn and brought out this save from Jamal Francois. They had another good chance as Jerome Blue meant the corner kick but could not direct his effort goalward. Those were chances they would rue with 17 minutes gone. A cross unattended to by the QRC defence and there was Luke Hernandez to apply the finish. Before QRC could reorganise, they were hit again, once more failing to clear effectively and Ajani Clarence would dispatch as the Tigers had claimed their domain. QRC tried to respond but Blue's free kick was always on the rise. And before long they would go 3-0 down as again the Tigers attacked from the right, Hernandez getting goal side of his marker before the diving header. This was all before half time. QRC did put on an improved second half display with a few decent chances to at least get onto the records. However, in the end, despite their best efforts, they could not prevent the 3-0 defeat at the hands of the West Moorings Tigers. Reporting for CNC3 Sports, I am Jassi Marik.